Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing something kind of risky, kind of silly, and kind of fun, I guess. We're going to try and build a nuclear-powered steam train. I, I know, well, I guess it is a steam train. Yeah, that does make sense. Anyway, we're not going to do anything too crazy. We're going to take the preset build of the nuclear uh, plant thingamabobby, and then we're going to put it on a train and see if we can uh, make it work. So, let's just go ahead and get straight into it and see if it works. Alright, so if you look at the presets, we do actually have this right here. We do not need a turbine. We're not going to do a turbine. We're going to use the nuclear reactor. Um, wait, this isn't the nuke. <laughs> this isn't what we wanted. Where is it? It's this one. Okay, so we're not going to use this uh, to power a turbine. We're going to use the steam that we get from this to uh, power a train. I don't know how this is going to work, to be totally honest with you guys. But we're going to try it anyway. So let's delete. Wait, hang on. This is not the turbine. This is the boiler, question mark? Is that the boiler? Yeah, wait, we have two boilers. I don't know what's going on here. No, this is the turbine. All right, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of all of this. And we're going to use this as our power plant for our train. Is that a good idea? It's probably a bad idea. But whatever. We need to delete a lot of this and then go from there. Okie dokie. So how would we actually get this to work properly? I have no idea, but we're going to try it. So let's delete this whole bottom base bit right here. We do not need it. Uh, we have this right here as well. I'm not entirely sure what this is showing. So we're going to delete that. We're also going to delete this. And we're going to delete all of that as well. We probably need this thing. So let's go ahead and bring this backwards and put it somewhere along the lines of here, I guess. There you go. Paste that in. Merge it all together. Excellent. And then that's all good. Yes. Excellent. Where do we power this thing from? Where are the buttons? Where is everything that actually allows this thing to work? I have no idea. Does it automatically work? Who knows? Spawn it in. Let's see what it does. Oh. Alright. That's not amazing. That is not amazing. But I think it generally, genuinely uh, automatically works itself. So we're going to delete these things because they don't need to be there. Uh, all of that should be fine. We're going to slap this onto a train. We're going to have the steam come in, and then it all goes through there to get cooled down. And then we're going to have the steam go through the pistons that push us along. Is this going to work? Who knows? All right, so we need wheels. Here we go. Wheels, yes. We're going to go with the steam ones. Uh, we're obviously going to go with the, uh, one, uh, the, the medium ones, because they're the better ones. And we're going to go ahead and put them actually all the way down. I think a nuclear, nuclear power plant should be able to power these as we go. So we're going to do, like, loads of them. There we go. That seems fine. I know that's quite a lot, but it seems fine. We then need the actual piston itself. So let's go ahead and grab a medium piston. Whack it straight onto there, just like so. And now we need the steam and stuff to get into here. And that's all we need to do to allow this to work. Maybe. Alright, so on this side it does say steam out. So we're going to use this steam out to go forwards. We're going to take it down the side of the train in order to make it go into the actual pistons. And then we'll go from there. So this is steam out. We actually want the steam in to go into this. And that should be fine. So pipes, let's do this. We'll actually have it go out sideways uh, to begin with. Then upwards and then straight into this. And that should be fine. So up to there. Delete that one. Grab this one. Make it go sideways. Do this one. Sideways into there and attach those together. Excellent. We then need to delete this. Because we need it to go to this side too, which is uh, somewhat ridiculous, but at the same time, should be fine. So there you go, whack that on there, bring this up to the same height as that one. Delete these guys, send it across, delete that one, delete this one, get the right pipes to allow this to work. Bam, there we go. Angle that bit straight into there, excellent. So the steam will come from the boiler into here, and that'll be fine, I guess. And then to go back... We actually need the water to go into here. So steam in. We're going to send it the same way down the sides. And do the exact same thing in order to attach this on. And then it should work, I think. So go ahead and bring this down to here. Uh, we'll allow it to go one out on the front, hopefully. So do this out the front. Do this out the front. Attach these guys together using something like this. There we go. Uh, attach that directly onto there like so. Have this piece come downwards, as long as it's in the right area, which I believe it is. And then send it, yeah, down into there, excellent. Is that right? I think that's right. So that'll go into there, that's obviously completely fine. We're then going to grab this guy and attach it onto there also. And that should be fine too. 
And now we have a nuclear powered train. How weird is that? Swan it in, let's see if it works. I mean, it's, it's somewhat on the tracks. <laughs> it's so weird. That is so weird. All right, how do I know what kind of pressures we're getting out of this? So the temperature of that is going up, obviously. Our pumps are actually already on. Okay, and the temperature of this isn't actually going up. Oh, it is. It's going up very slowly. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is this going to work? Oh, that sounds awful. What's going on now? <laughs> okay, can I push this out? I don't think it's fully on the tracks. Let's spawn this in outside and see if we can get this working properly. There we go. So it's definitely on the tracks. Uh, I've got no brakes. I've got no controls over this at all. But it is a nuclear reactor on a train bed. Uh, and we're going to see if it moves. So that's all we need to do. The steam is automatically going to go in here. And then automatically get pushed all the way back around into the condenser. Condenser is going to condense it. And then going to push it back in. And then go down into here again. And send it back out. It will explode. The boiler will explode. But we just want to see if it will work. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just waiting for this to get to the right temperature. And then we're going to go. All right, the noise has just changed. I'm not entirely sure why, but let's see what the temperature of this is. It is 50. Okay. So it's going to continue to uh, increase. And then we should be able to just send it down the tracks. That's, uh, that's what's going to happen anyway. Uh, the wheel spin might be a problem. I have no control over how much these guys are actually spinning. I have no control over anything because um, all that's controlling it is the steam coming out of here. Going into here, and then steam coming out of here, going into there, and then going out there into here again, and yeah, so it's a closed loop system, um, powered by, 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 by nuclear power, but I guess that's fine, I guess, I guess that's fine, alright, I'm just gonna stand here, and hopefully not die, I'm sure it'll be okay. Alright, so the temperature is actually getting up there, it's at 95, it is taking like an eternity to actually get to temperature. Uh, but once it's there, it should be fine. With that being said, where is this actually coming from? So the, the fluid is actually just heated up water, I guess. Yeah, coming out of there into here. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fine. So in a second, there we go. Steam is being built up. Pressure is being built up also. And we've reached 100 degrees. Excellent. So now we just stand here and wait. Oh, no, let me back on board. Because it's just going to start moving as soon as the pressure gets high enough. Uh, it will... Oh! Did we just move? Oh, it's wobbling. It's wobbling as if it wants to go. But it isn't quite going yet. Okay, what kind of pressure have we got now? 0.4. As soon as it hits like 0.8, I think it'll be good to go. Yeah. As soon as it hits like 0.8, we're gonna go. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see! Come on, reach 0.8. I'm looking at the pressure. Looking at the pressure. So we're at 0.6 right now. It's still taking ages. This is taking like 10 years to actually... To actually work. But let's see what happens. Come on. Come on, 0.7. Alright. We're getting there very slowly, but we are getting there. Temperature hasn't really gone that far over 100 yet either. So that's kind of interesting. 0.8 is just around the corner. In 3, 2, 1. 0.8. Should we start moving now? I think it's going to start. There we go. Nice. All right, so our, our locomotive, <laughs> I guess, is actually on its on the move. This is so weird. This is very, very weird. Uh, so it's a nuclear-powered train. Very strange. So, yeah, were you guys ever expecting this to actually work? I mean, I guess it does work um, quite well because the, the heat of this obviously transfers to the boiler. The boiler sends out steam. And then it just comes... Yeah, no, this is a fully closed loop system as well. So that's actually pretty interesting. With that being said, making a train like this is kind of dangerous. But at the same time, I, I guess we could do it normally. Like, we just flip this on its side. We have a uh, tube, like, covering it. And we can make something look really sick out of this. And it would never need refueling or anything like that. But I do feel like the pressure is going to build up too much in this. And it will explode at some point. But the temperature hasn't actually got that high, so maybe it won't. Who knows? I do want to let you guys know, though, it isn't fast. This thing is very, very, very slow right now. Uh, however, the longer we leave it going, the faster it should get. Uh, because the pressure's going to go up, the boiler's going to uh, increase in temperature, and then it should pressurize the whole system quite well. With that being said, though, um, it's, it's going to take too long. So we've proved 
that a nuclear powered train does work. Uh, but I don't really want to continue with it any longer than this. So, um, yeah. Kind of interesting seeing that it works. I, uh, I kind of would like you guys to, to show me what you guys build with something like this. Maybe we can do a nuclear powered train competition. That would be awesome. Um, but there you go. It works, guys. But yeah, I can actually walk quicker than it is moving. So, problems. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.